the other one? It, it was as good of a tackling scrimmage as, as I've ever been around, you know, and with the limited opportunities you get to really put guys on the ground and the amount of guys that you play, you know, ones, twos, threes, and whatnot, really proud of the way that we tackled and the way that everybody played. Can you talk a little bit about the new position, the strike position, why you felt it was necessary to put it in there and, and sort of how those guys are doing, acclimating to it? Well, the first thing, it has to do with the people you have on your team. You know, you're, you're trying to best utilize your personnel. Uh, so we've got some guys like Derek and Romeo who, who are big bodies that can, they can be stout enough versus the run, but at the same time have the, the quickness and they've got DB instincts from their time there. So it's not a, it, you know, uh, it's always players before tactics, you know. Uh, so what we did is, we, you know, we, we have the personnel now to be more flexible. We can still play a nickel defense with Trajan in there like we did at some in the past, and now we just have the flexibility to whatever the best we have, uh, we need to play the offense we're playing. I think we've got a little more flexibility just because of our recruiting. Manny, I know that on Saturday, the, the last scrimmage is going to be very controlled, situational, and, and Mark was telling us maybe the younger guys would play more. As a defensive coordinator, linebackers coach, what are you looking for and how will you handle the defense? We have made a, I, I just told the defense, we made a big point this spring at playing your best when your best is required. You know, we use the NBA playoffs kind of as an example for that. So when is your best required? Third down, you know, um, in the red zone, one minute drill situations, okay, in Charlotte. You know, I mean, when your best is required, be the guy that's at your best. Be the guy that if in the fourth quarter of the basketball game, we're going to draw the pick and roll up for you to take the game winning shot. So we challenge them. If you're going to be that guy in the fall, you got to be that guy in practice. You got to make that play. We had a great play, 10 and one minute drill with Mike Jackson uh, batting the ball, red wine intercepting to win the game. Well, that's going to be confidence that I can do that in the fall because I did it in practice. So we're trying to get the guys to to be able to excel in those special situations. Manny, who, who jumped out at you really now that spring is pretty much almost wrapped up? Who jumped out at you as one of the better surprises or one of the bigger surprises? The guy that you said, wow, he's, he's delivered and maybe it was uh, unexpected. There's not, you know, it's hard to have unexpected because you always have expectations right. as a coach. Uh, I would say the, uh, starting from front to back, certainly I'd say, um, you know, Jura Willis, just, you know, I mean, just getting him back, but seeing that the way he's brought it and worked every day, um, the continued development of Joe Jackson. I would say jo uh, Jonathan Garvin, we've had a lot of guys that have made plays year one and, and now have to deal with the expectations going into year two. The way he's come out here and worked every day has really been a sight to see. Um, you know, certainly everyone knows Greg Rousseau and what Greg's done in all the scrimmages. You know, I don't know if anybody could have predicted that. You know, so I mean, those guys have all been very exciting with what they've done up front. Wayman Steed, who really we just took out of the wrapper because you know he had been injured in the fall, and seeing some of the things that he, he can do on the field has, has been a, a neat surprise. Mainly with your corners, obviously a lot of size with, with DJ and Gilby. On the flip side, some of the quicker receivers that you'll be going against, the smaller ones, is that going to be a challenge that? A lot of those times, a lot of the guys, times those guys line up in the slot, you know, just for that reason, because big corners can, at times, sort of cover those guys up and, 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 and beat them at the line, up at the line of scrimmage. Um, but there's also there's other other coverage concepts that you have to. I mean, you can't have everything, right? I mean, if you wanted all small corners to match up with those guys, then you're not gonna have any big corners to match up with big guys. So, um, you know, it's hard to be big and have you know elite quickness, you know. But I think all these guys are very functional. Uh, it's still about trusting your technique, but the thing is, is that length equals speed, and length equals quickness. It's hard for you to get away from it. It's like when your your big brother put his form on your head, you know, when you were little, you know, and that that's really what's happening at the line of scrimmage. So it's hard for those guys to get off when I've got that length of arms, and then I can cover those little guys up. The, the visual to the quarterback, the guy doesn't look as open because of my length over top of that guy. So um, as long as those guys continue to work on their technique and, and do what Coach Rum tells them, I think they both have bright futures. This is the last time we get to talk to you basically this spring. So can you sort of summarize where the defense stands now compared to a year ago? Um, maybe in your mind, maybe not just necessarily good versus bad, but even experience versus inexperience a little bit. I'll, I'll tell you the, the, the thing that stands out to me the most is, and I, it, it probably is more into the entire team, um, this has been a better spring than we had a year ago for whatever reason. And we would not have been aware last spring that we had a bad spring. I don't think we had a bad spring a year ago. It's just been better this time around. It's been more physical. It's been more competitive. The guys have brought every day. The best thing we had this spring was Tuesday's practice. So we went in the stadium, exciting. Guys played really well. They came out here on Tuesday with every reason to not bring it. It's day 13, anticlimactic. It was our best practice. I mean, in terms of the way that our guys competed and our toughness and the guys playing physical, it was it was our best practice. And we tell them, we said, 
that's that's Virginia. You know, the week after Notre Dame, when everybody says, how are you all going to get up at the noon game, Virginia? That's Pitt the week after that. So this team, it just might have something about it. You don't know, but it might have something about it that that week in, week out, that any time we come out and play, we're ready to play at a high level, which is what you have to have if you want to win championships because everybody's going to be gunning for us now. All those teams, we, you know, last year we had a hit list, right? And we were 4-4. Well, we're on a lot of people's hit list this year. You understand? So we're going to get the best game from a lot of people. So to be able to bring it at a high level every week has probably been the most exciting thing. And I don't know if I felt that same thing a year ago. What kind of progress is last Mike, What kind of spring has Mike Piggy had? Maybe the progress he's made. Mike's been excellent. I mean, he's been he's been physical to point of attack. Um, he's you know he continue always improving in pass coverage. Um, and then I think the neatest thing about Mike is is, is his leadership. Mike, Mike cares greatly for the University of Miami in this program. And, and really wants to see us, and that's in every aspect. That's in helping us recruit, helping us do anything. He wants us to be not good, he wants us to be great. And um, and he's taking that role now as an older guy. It was funny, we had our pregame meal before the scrimmage last Saturday, and we, we eat by class, you know, seniors first, juniors, and we all sit with our position. I've been sitting with the linebackers, and it's been a long time before we've gotten up. You know, when the you know, seniors call, we all stand there, and juniors, maybe, you know, a couple guys, and, and now, he walked, you know, when Junior's called and he popped up, he said, oh, this feels different, you know. So he's starting to feel now as that older guy uh, that he's got some, you know, ab ability to lead the younger guys. Awesome. All right, thank, thank you all so much.